Well, let's now go to a de development in Egypt where we understand that there is a lot of diplomatic efforts ongoing. The Egyptian capital is seeing a flurry of diplomatic activity as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict stretches to almost two weeks. Jordanian King Abdullah and the UN Chief Antonio Guterres, along with European diplomats and Arab legislators, have held several meetings in Cairo to discuss ways to force a possible de-escalation. Egypt also warned world leaders about the dangers of an extended war and rejected, once again, the idea of a forced migration of Palestinians from their homeland. For more on these meetings, CGTN's Adel Mahroui tells us more. After his European tour, the King of Jordan, Abdullah II, met Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in Cairo on Thursday. The two leaders renewed their opposition to the forced migration of Palestinians into their countries and warned world leaders that an extended war in Gaza would drag the entire region into bloodshed and chaos. An emergency meeting for the Arab parliament in Cairo also tackled the same issues. We reject the forced migration of Palestinians and support the countries who reject this approach. Palestinians have the right to their lands. Historically, it's their land, and no one can forcefully move them from their home. President Sisi and King Abdullah have been quite clear about that. No one will make the Palestinians leave their land. It's their right, and they will defend it. The 11-day war on Gaza was also on the agenda of Sisi's meeting with Michael Carello, the commander of the U.S. Central Command. Meanwhile, the Egyptian foreign minister, Samah Shukri, warned his UK counterpart, James Cleverly, about the further deterioration in the already dire conditions in which Palestinians in Gaza are suffering. It's a concern that the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, also shared during his meeting with Shukri. In the face of this humanitarian catastrophe, I'm calling for two immediate humanitarian actions. To Hamas, for the immediate and unconditional release of the hostages, to Israel, for immediate and restricted access of humanitarian aid to respond to the most basic needs of the people of Gaza. Instead of wasting time arguing about the causes of the escalation, Egypt says it wants the world to pay more attention to the core reasons that are fueling the crisis. Cairo believes that the political deadlock for a fair solution to the Palestinian issue tops that list. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has met and talked to dozens of world leaders during the past few days. Egypt has never been so busy with such a huge number of official state visits. Cairo wants to rally international support. Head of the Palestine Summit, it is hosting this weekend where more world leaders are expected to attend. Aydin Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.